we bowl off Metal TV Sports with Cricket as Joshua De Silva and Kruma Bonner, Adam Zari Joseph all came within touching distance of centuries. This as the West Indies hold the advantage after two days of the second test against Bangladesh in Dhaka. Bonner resumed on 74 and De Silva on 22 with the tourists on 223 for 5. They put on a stand of 88 for the 6th wicket, the 3rd successive 50 plus stand for that wicket in this series for the visitors, Bonner falling for 90 runs. De Silva then went for 92 after a 118 run 7th wicket partnership with Joseph who made 82 as the West Indies were 409. Abu Jaid picked up his third four-wicket haul to finish with four for 75. Taijul Islam finished with four for 108, while Mahidi Hassan Miraz picked up his 99th wicket and on the verge of becoming the fourth Bangladesh cricketer with 100 wickets. Shannon Gabriel then struck early, removing Sumya Sakar for a duck with one run on the board, then removing Najmul Hussein Shanto for four at 11 for two before Rakim Conwell and Joseph, and accounted for Miminul Haq 21 and Tamim Iqbal 44, respectively. The hosts closed on 105 for four with Moshe Fikur Rahim 27, Mohammed Mithun 6, the batsmen not out. Play is set to resume at 10.30 tonight, Jamaica time. The West Indies leads the Test Series 1-0. On to track and field news now. The March dates for the much-anticipated ISA Boys and Girls Athletics Championships have been scrapped, with alternative dates to be announced by the organizers. The Intersecondary School Sports Association, ISA, had set March 23 to 27 as the dates for this year's event with May 4 to 8 as an alternative with those dates also up for revision. COVID-19 forced the last year's staging of the championships to be cancelled. Meanwhile, the local track and field season has been further delayed with some 11 meets which were scheduled for this weekend postponed due to the continued COVID-19 restrictions. Local governing body, the J3A, says it is yet to receive correspondence from the government for the weekend's activities to go ahead. The government indicated last weekend that it will be lifting the restrictions on the staging of sporting events with strict protocols to be observed. Meanwhile, the president of the Tokyo Olympic and Paralympic Organizing Committee, Yoshiro Mori, has resigned after making sexist remarks about women. The 83-year-old said women talk too much and are driven by a strong sense of rivalry during an online meeting of the committee's board of trustees earlier this month. The former Japanese Prime Minister refused to resign at the time, but his comments had drawn sharp criticism in Parliament, where some opposition politicians demanded he quit. On to some football news now. Three additional positive COVID-19 tests have been recorded from the training camp arranged by the Jamaica Football Federation, which was shut down by the government last week. This brings to five the number of players who have been tested positive and two recorded prior to the camp being shut down. The camp at the UAJFF Captain Horace Morrell Center of Excellence was issued with a cease and desist order because the JFF did not receive permission to host it. The JFF says all players and staff are now in isolation at home. From the field to the clay court, Novak Djokovic's hopes of winning an unprecedented ninth Australian Open title are hanging in the balance. This after suffering a torn stomach muscle during his third round five-set win against Taylor Fritz today. The top seed took a medical timeout before being visited again by the trainer for more treatment later, but the eight-time champion somehow battled through to a 7-6-6-4-3-6-4-6-6-2 victory. Djokovic is set to meet 14th-seeded Milos Rionic in the second round. Dominic Thiem is also through after beating Nick Kyrgios 4-6, 4-6, 6-3, 6-4, 6-4. 
Serena Williams recorded her landmark 90th victory at the tournament with a 7-6-6-2 win over Anastasia Potapova. Third seed and 2019 champion Naomi Osaka is also through. Meanwhile, the tournament will proceed without crowds over the next five days after the state of Victoria was placed under a snap lockdown today to contain a fresh outbreak of COVID-19. The tournament had been played in front of a reduced capacity for the opening five days, but it will now continue behind closed doors while the lockdown is in place, with Victorians having been told to stay at home. On to basketball news now. Carmelo Anthony made two free throws with 3.1 seconds left on the clock to break a tie and cap his 17.4th quarter outburst to spark the Portland Trailblazers to a 118-114 victory over the visiting Philadelphia 76ers last night. Anthony, who made his first six shots in the fourth quarter, finished with a season's best 24 points on 9 of 15 shooting as the Trail Blazers won for the fourth time in the past five games. Golden State, Indiana, Miami and Boston also came up with wins on the night. Now to end tonight's sports package, we present you with the play of the night, rookie Anthony Edwards' dunk versus the Golden State Warriors. Here comes Jaden McDaniels. Edwards down the lane. Ooh. Oh! Anthony Edwards. Yo. Elevated and hammered. He got up so high. That was a little miscommunication. That was, that was a mistake from the Warriors. No one's on him. And he just gets a running start and gets up so high. Wiseman, welcome to my post <laughs> running start and gets up so high. Wiseman, welcome to my post. And those are the stories making sports news tonight. We now head back to the news desk with Shelly and Hill.